doing what you're doing. It's just you got to keep at it, like you know. Um, but That's yeah, it. really, really bullish. Yeah. All right, then some not so lacquer news. I don't know if you saw this code. Trait Sniper. Um, so they came out. First, what I saw is in some of my alpha chats, I saw guys saying sell, sell, sell. Trait Sniper um, is going to rug. Now, Whoa. for those... Yeah, for those of you that don't know, Trade Sniper is an incredible, incredible tool that's fully developed. Let's just jump on there to show you guys so it rings a bell. Um, and, and really incredibly useful. It's actually one of the best tools in collections like other deeds, which have a lot of different attributes, because you can search, um, you can search by so many different attributes of the collection. So like other deed, for example, um, wait for it to load but there is so many different attributes here and you can sort it according to that which is really really quite cool so their their, their software is incredible um and uh, they've been well respected in the space for a long time so it was quite a shock when all of this news came out sell 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 so and then it came everywhere so trade snipers kiara says that he's personally mismanaged the the project's funding and if we actually jump into the tweet here he says, good morning. Trade Snap has turned one year old today. However, it said it is sad and heartbreaking for me to respond to some rumors about our financial situation and Trade Sniper's future. We had our mint. It went exceptionally well back in April, but things started to turn downhill from there. We had a Discord hack from one of our admin accounts, which is common in the space. Yep. We had a rough time with the bear market and sold our mint bag near the bottom. Um, so they offloaded their bag onto you guys. We have split our mint bag with founders, investors, and the team. I personally, this is the problem. I personally, mis not me, Philip, I'm reading on behalf of Kiara. Yeah. <laughs> I, per I personally mismanaged our funding. Oh. And a significant portion has been compromised in my hot wallet. Since then, we have run dry and tried many stages. So, so, so hold wow. on. I, I've got, I, this is like such a problem. Yeah. First of all, what does personally mismanaged our funding mean? I'm assuming, and Kate, let me know what you think. I'm assuming that possibly means, like we've been calling for a long time, that they never converted their ETH into fiat. Because in April, Ethereum was still sitting at about $3,000. I'm in April last year. I'm, I'm assuming that that's what it might mean. What do you think by I personally mismanaged our funding? Wait, tell me, tell me again what you thought. I, I'm saying that may, maybe that is saying he didn't convert that ETH oh, into oh, oh. US dollars, yeah. and so th that that a thousand ETH that was worth three hundred thousand dollars or whatever is now worth a hundred thousand dollars. <sighs> Man, I, I, yeah, I don't know what mismanaged means. I feel like he probably just blew through it. Um, I don't know. Like if, I, like if I, for example, if I had dropped an NFT collection and I had X amount of hundreds of thousands of dollars sitting in one fucking account, I probably would have done everything I could to make that as safe as possible. So I don't know what, I don't know what steps that is, but I definitely would have hired an accountant immediately. That would have been the first thing I do. I'm like, okay, how do I not fuck this up? Uh, just like bare minimum, not fuck this up. Um, I, I really don't know what mismanaged means. I'm like, I assume that means he just like, bot stuff or something like I, like I don't know what you spend money on you know like do, are you like no, paying for promos like I, I don't know what that means yeah I don't know so I'm I'm assuming it means that he he didn't he didn't convert it into fiat maybe mm -hmm. doubled down on ETH and bought more in I don't know um and then he says and and not comma meaning that how you mismanaged it and my hot wallet was compromised what the fuck are you doing with mint money on no a hot idea. wallet? What what is going on in this place? Honestly, that's that for me is like the biggest red flag. I am I allowed to in my let me try to do this correctly. In my personal opinion, with absolutely no facts backing me up, I think he stole the money from Trade Sniper. Mm. Uh, who leaves money on their hot wallet from a mint? Like a big that amount sounds of money. stupid. That sounds stupid. Yeah, you're right. Straight into a ledger. Obviously, convert some of it into USD, whatever. But even if you don't convert any of it into USD, you move it into a freaking ledger yeah. and you put it in the safe. It's not your money. It's the community's money, the founding team. So that's weird. So what we've seen since then, this floor was sitting at 0.25 Ethereum, steady as a, as a hand for the longest time. 
sitting be between 0.25 and 0.5 even, and half an ETH mm. for the last 90 days. And if we go to all time, and now they have fallen off a cliff and they're sitting at 0 0.07, 0 0.08. So if we go back to this tweet, okay, so I personally mismanaged our funding and a significant portion has been compromised in my heart wallet. <laughs> Since then, we've run out of money, okay? As of today, I've just now announced to my private team chat um, to release, that doesn't make sense, and lay off certain positions to keep the cost down. Okay, so he's basically firing people. Um, this comes up not surprisingly for many. His English is really not good. And most of my, maybe he's, it's not his native language. That's yeah. fine. And, and, but, yeah, but maybe he should have gotten someone just right. And most of my team members are still happy to continue working um, on what's left of us. I mean, on what's left of us. Uh, with the cost cut and the burn rate optimized, we hopefully have reached the point where Trade Sniper is now becoming sustainable. For our Genesis and Alpha holders, everything will stay the same in terms of usability and features. You know what the problem is? The trust is gone. Like, yeah. do I now want to connect my wallet to the web to their website so that I can get access to their tool, knowing that he mismanaged funds and had his, you know, his um, his uh, mint funds stolen from his hot wallet? I'm worried if I connect to the site that they're going to mismanage my funds and mm -hmm. like drain me. You know what I mean? Yep. It's just, yeah, the, the, the trust for me is gone, and it's a real, real pity. Yeah, dude, that, that's fucked. That, that, I mean, that's like, a, that's like a stab in the heart type of message. You're like, oh, so we kind of like hoped. I'm still kind of hoping, but you like actually fucked us here. You like, there's no way to return from this. It's over. You know, like say you sunk in $10,000. There's zero chance you're getting that money back. Zero. Unless you sold it and someone bought your, your NFTs back, but probably not now. But like, man, fuck. Look, I mean, you know, so Crypto Dream's asking, is, is that it, right? Is there any way to come back? I, I mm. think I think they've got they've got a good software. All it would take is Carrie to say, I'm stepping down, and for someone new and experienced to say, I'm taking over, sure. and to build the trust back. I think with Kiara there, um, it's going to be much more difficult for the reason I said. I, I don't know that people are going to be comfortable connecting their wallets and having it connected to a site where the guy can't even manage his own funds yeah. um, or, or the project's funds, right? Um, I mean, it's a cardinal sin to have even your own money on a hot wallet, big, big amounts of it, but let alone the community's money or the project's money. It really is a sin. So we'll see what happens. But something really interesting, Alpha Sharks then did a tweet um, saying that their Chrome extension, because I had I even had Trade Sniper. So first of all, I was a holder of Trade Sniper. I sold it immediately. And I had the Chrome extension. Um, so I I'd like got deleted that straight away. And then Alpha Sharks came out, which I thought was just brilliant, right? They also another uh, great tool in the space. Um, uh, got their own strengths like this. They show you cell walls and really good for sniping. Um, on the trait side, you can also search according to trait, but not to the level of trait sniper. So they've got their pros and cons. But they said here on the 3rd of October, for the next three days, anyone can claim free lifetime access to Alpha Sharks Chrome extension. So, no, so not to their website, but to their Chrome extension. So I posted this, especially for my private viewer group. Um, anyone wants to join, just click the join button. I've personally installed it. And um, it's absolutely amazing, bro. It's great. Okay, the fact that this is here, bro, I don't know. I don't, it's still here. Maybe you can still claim it. It really is a great tool, this Alpha Sharks one. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess it is. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. I'm not sure. If you search Alpha Sharks on Twitter um, and anyone watching, guys, and you haven't already, I did also go into Alpha Sharks Discord and I verified that it's a legit with the mods and I have personally installed it um, and I'm using it and it's freaking cool. Nice. Let me show you what it does. Yeah. So I've while, got while a free doing that, click that like button, yeah. fam, if you're watching this live. So, Kate, I heard, I heard like guys, uh, you know that guy, Mr. Beast, who's massive mm -hmm. on YouTube? Yeah. I don't know why got this diamond pool here oh that's weird hidden folder time 
you know, yeah, it, it probably is because I don't have a doge in this wallet. That's hilarious. I do have a doge in my other wallet. So, yeah, definitely hidden folder. So let me show you what this thing does. So, so yeah, this guy, Mr. Beast, who's a massive YouTuber, he's got 100 million followers plus. He was saying that the like, people hitting the like makes absolutely zero difference whatsoever to the YouTube algorithm. Zero. Um, zero. I mean, okay, so I think the way he was talking about it was that the only thing that really matters is good content. People watching your videos only think that really matters, but the narrative around a video is dictated by the likes. It might not be algorithm related, but when someone clicks on your video and there's 700 likes versus 100, that's a big difference when someone watches the video because they're like, oh, a lot of people like this video. It's going to be really good. I better watch it. There must be a reason that 700 people click the like button. So that's the way I look at it, but you're right. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's not like I look at it that much um, for myself. I don't know how everyone else does, but. Yeah. I hear you. Uh, yeah, I, I see it. So look, this whole bar at the top, Cade, is is what you get. Mm. So on a collection page, it's showing you the supply, the owners, the royalties, all of that sort of stuff, um, which is quite cool. And then when you go, it's, and also over here, you get to see the rarity on every item, which cool. is what trade sniper, and you get your quick buy option, which is all that I use trade sniper for. The other thing which I didn't have in trade sniper is check here, bro. It shows you the notable holders of any collection on the OpenSea page. It shows you the cell, the cell walls, how many are listed to get to three ETH and so on and so forth. Shows you the momentum trading. Shows you the holder distribution. How cool is that, bro? That is very cool. I do yeah, like that. All for I do free. Like that. So I, I know the three days have expired, but it's still on their Twitter. So maybe there's an opportunity, guys, if you haven't already. Um, anyway, whilst we're talking about Trade Sniper, I thought that would be just a, a nice sort of end to a horrible story. <laughs>